Now, as we continue on with the Pymation... Oh, oh, sorry, Asher, didn't mean to wake you up. Our little doggo down here. By little doggo, I mean big doggo. Uh, he was sleeping down there, and now I woke him up with my very loud intro. Sorry about that, buddy. You doing all right? You doing all right, buddy? Aw. <laughs> uh, He's just annoyed with you now. I think, I think I made him mad. Yep, he's mad. Like y'all can't just, just do your intros calmly or something? No. Unfortunately, that is impossible. But, as I was saying, before I rudely interrupted the puppers napping, um, we are continuing on the Pymation's animation train with, uh, <laughs> with Meet the Amazing Tracer. So... I'll take hashtag things that are no longer relevant for 500. I know, I know. So here's the thing about Overwatch. Overwatch, Overwatch at this point is basically a meme. <clears throat> Albeit, and apparently there's a bunch of people that still play Overwatch. They'll be like, "It's not dead. It's not dead." And yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Yeah, when it's, it is the league no longer exists. The second one has negative reviews. <coughs> almost everyone. It's it's a trash game now. It a lot of people don't you're like it. Still playing it. You're just huffing the copium. I need to see it now. Him just like laying in bed, huffing the copium. It's like it's like we're running out of copium. Dear God, he's not gonna make it. Uh. So, meet the amazing tracer. I remember when when Overwatch came out. Everyone was just hyping this as like the next big thing. And for a while it was. Until it wasn't. And the studio kept making wrong choice after wrong choice after wrong choice. And then basically the entire original dev team left. Then there was a mass well, before that there was a massive scandal involving a huge amount of the people who were involved with this game. And then not only that, but the CEO continues to make horrible decisions, and he refuses to step down. It, mm, yeah. Yeah, he's finally gone as of today, actually. Oh! Yeah. Well, let that be a... Well, today let, is his last day in, uh, with Blizzard, so finally. Well, finally good Blizzard riddance. is no longer run by a sex offender. <laughs> so, let Hopefully, that... Hopefully, anyways. So, let that be a thing, I guess. Maybe that's why... Maybe we can make that part of this video. It's like, good riddance. Say la vie. Not gonna miss you. Suck my Bobby Code dick. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, uh, Meet the Amazing Tracer by Pymations. By the way, Pymations, if you ever do see this, just know that, you know, we hope that your wrist, uh, your wrist issues don't persist and you're able to get treatment done or something done to help you with your wrist, because we love your animations. I know you have a huge fandom and everything like that, and I would hate to see a great creator like you undone because of wrist issues and health problems. So, thank you. Like, just yeah, I know we're a little late to the to the hype train on uh, on your channel, but just say just as new fans, hey, hope everything works out for you, brother. Really, but. <clears throat> The Amazing series, we've uh, been uh, doing it step by step, but we're taking a little bit of a detour. Instead of doing more of the TF2 of Meet the Amazing series, we're just doing Meet the Amazing Tracer because what the hell, why not? And uh, yeah. Mostly because I'm starving to death and we just need to get some stuff. Yeah. Get through some stuff. And this Maybe one. The Team Fortress ones will be doing them for a lot longer. <laughs> that That's <clears throat> that's another reason. <clears throat> Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. This is Meet the Amazing Tracer. Here we go. Oh, Matt, you can't shoot a gay person. Wait, what? You hear that, everyone? Hanzo's homophobic! Boo! Boo, get off the stage! I'm not on the... What? Checkmate, Hanzo. Hand over the point or I will tumble shame you. What? Have you tried taking a long look in the mirror and then fucking yourself? 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> She's standing in the okay. perfect place that if Rodog had his ultimate, he could just be like. <laughs> That's it. I'm oh, Jesus. You. Um, uh, uh, Roadhog, can you hook this bitch, please? Thank you. You're defying the laws of gravity. Bye. <laughs> Yay! Ow. Be cool. <laughs> Hanzo, brother, help me. Lion King reference. <laughs> <laughs> No, you can't. Have fun. What are you gonna do? Just leave me here? Yes. Homophobes! Do you need help? Spare me some mercy, am I right? Oh! <laughs> For most healing done. You're welcome. Fucking homophobes. What What's Doctor Who doing here? Wait, which doctor is it? Hey! Oh, are you the one who's been messing with time travel? What, my recall? Does it mess with time travel? I mean, kinda. Well then, yes. I was brought here because the wibbly-wobbly timey-wimey stuff was going extra wibbly-wobbly on my timey-wimey detector. <laughs> I'm here to stop the source of the extra wibbly wobbliness, so whatever you're doing, stop it. Stop? And who exactly are you? Well, I'm the doctor. Doctor who? Exactly. Oh no. say this fourth wall break is painful <laughs> uh pa it's painfully real okay but seriously time travel is no joke you need to stop messing with time right now frivolous time travel can have adverse effects on the future people like you are why time travel is so restricted oh oh people like me yes people like you you can't talk about gay people like that Wait, no, no, I meant what you're actually doing. I don't care if you're gay. Wow. You don't care about gay people? I... Oh, my God. Is there a problem, babe? This guy doesn't care about gay people. That's not what I said. Oh, is that so? How dare you insult homosexuals, puny trench coat man? I make you regret the way you think. I once slaughtered a bear with spoon. Uh... I took on alligator with big toe. I eat glass for breakfast. But that's unhealthy, so no, not really I might. Regardless, I will show you domination. Ow. <laughs> Every time you do that to your fingers, I imagine you... Oh. Every time you do that, I imagine your fingers just gonna come, you're just gonna be like... like... <laughs> I go find the mercy now. <laughs> okay, well my point still stands. You need to stop... Did Damn I it. win? I doubt it. So, what was all that about? Captain Phone Booth over here wanted me to stop recalling. Well, how come? 
Something, something wobbly time stuff. Sounds dangerous. I can mess with time all I want. Beep, beep, beep. Look at me. I'm creating adverse effects on the future. Timey, whiny. More like timey, whiny. Was my chrono accelerator always a black hole? <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. That was actually, it went in directions I didn't expect it to, and I loved it for that. <laughs> God. So, all in all, yeah, that was that was amazing. Uh, you know, ha ha ha, that was amazing. Yeah. I mean, the inclusion of Doctor Who, the inclusion of... Uh, also, that... Also, that fourth wall break there with him writing the script. I've just imagined myself, like, in the middle of script writing uh, for, like, stuff that I've written. I've just been sitting there, and when the cliches are start writing themselves, I literally sit there and I'm just like... <sighs> and delete everything. <laughs> like, how can we not do that? Hmm. And actually, I sit there and I ponder, like, how can we tell this story without resorting to the same old cliches? Or if we are going to do a cliche, how can we do it that has an original take that still feels kind of fresh? It's weird. It's weird trying to write through stuff like that because it's just, ugh. You, you can't. You can't get around it sometimes. And it. And I've. I've been in the middle of writing some scripts. For me, it was. It was two and a half years on one script. It was my. This is a, exposing myself a little bit for. Uh, for like a project that I. It's a dream project of mine, but I don't think it'll ever be made, but that doesn't mean I, I can't write it. It is basically a adaptation of Princess Mononoke, but instead of set in Japanese feudal folklore, instead it's set in like medieval and dark you know, dark ages European folklore. And don't think you could actually get away with that in what? modern society. They did it for the Magnificent Seven, and the Magnificent Seven is one of the greatest films of all time. Well, you can get away with it, but there's going to be a loud group of people. I know there's going to be a loud group of people, washing. but here's the whitewash, dude. Come on, dude. It, there are so many things borrowed from every culture out there. It's just like you know that a lot of the the folklore that's in uh, Japanese, like like Japanese, like ancient Japanese stories and all that. It's borrowed from ancient China. Ancient China borrows from the Buddhists. The Buddhists borrow from the Hindus. The Hindus borrow from... like It It never ends, dude. Everything is inspired by everything. You, you can't just say, Oh, that belongs to me. Except they can. I know they can. I know that's what they try to do. But here's the thing. I do not give a shit. If I take that script and I take the concept to Miyazaki, to Hayao Miyazaki, hopefully if I ever meet him before he passes away, and he approves it, gives me his blessing, if I go to Miyazaki and he says, no, I don't want you to make this, I'll abandon it. I respect Miyazaki that much as a creator. But if I go to him and, I, and he gives me his blessing, then, I'm gonna tr then I would like to try it. But it'll probably never happen because I don't have that kind of money. But it doesn't stop me from trying to to do it because I just had it in my heart to do it. And I spent over two years writing that script. And yeah, it it was a task. It was a task because, you know, I didn't want... I, <clears throat> for the most part, I kept the same story beats as Princess Mononoke. But <clears throat> I feel like I changed it up enough to work thematically with the folklore that we had that you know, Europeans have during the medieval times and the Dark Ages. At least that's how I felt. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so... Meet the Amazing Tracer. 
this was a this was this was a lot of fun. And uh, Pi Nations, congr you know, just hopefully, you know, you can, uh, you know, hopefully once again, dude, hopefully your wrist issues don't prevent you from continuing to create. And uh, here's to the future. And uh, I know more, more and more people are going to request us to watch more of your stuff. So uh, it's just common. It's just common, I guess. And I, and let us know. And also, dude, if you don't like us reacting to your stuff. Feel free to please let us know. We'll be more than happy to 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 stop and do away with like we we respect creators' rights to uh, to like hold their hold their uh, art account you know their like be like the distributors of their art and yeah but anyway that's gonna do it until next time everyone I'm Nate I am Nick y'all be good people take care peace. <laughs>